डॉक्टर सुब्रमण्यम स्वामी एंड प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द जनता पार्टी ऑफ द एनडीए शेषाद्री चारी ऑफ द बीजेपी नेशनल एग्जीक्यूटिव मेंबर आर डिबेटिंग टू नाइट विथ खुशबू डी एम के लीडर एंड माई फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज टू डॉक्टर नागनाथन उज फाउंडर ऑफ यूथ डॉट ऑर्ग अ ग्रुप विच इज वेहमेंटली अगेंस्ट दिस विजिट हाउ ही इज विजिटिंग प्राइवेटली इज नॉट अ स्टेट विजिट यू कैन पुट योर पॉइंट वेरी क्लियरली देन आई वॉन्ट यू मस्ट गिव इक्वल टाइम टू द अदर साइड you know you can't create trouble he's not okay. visiting Simple. tamil nadu uh, it's a non political visit he is here to lay a foundation stone for the construction of a center for buddhist studies i mean what's the argument here see, uh, Arnab, that yes. is uh, tamil nadu has, tamil nadu in tamil nadu it has passed a very strong resolution representing all political parties that rajak pakshe should be declared as a war criminal and we need an independent international war crime investigations over sri lanka which has not been done yet and rajapaksha has not answered about killing of 600 indian fishermen not yet rajapaksha has not answered the indo lanka accord of 1987 giving legitimate rights to tamils with all these activities on the pipeline you are inviting rajapaksha for a non state visit so inviting a war criminal whether it's a non state visit or not is immaterial when the world is mounting across for an un human rights investigation monitored by un and when there is an lla seri recommendation should be done where india voted against sri lanka in un hrc yeah go on so it is must for us to oppose this type of stand subramaniam swami this type of stand subramaniam swami it's a no no subramaniam yeah okay complete complete your point okay complete your point yeah bjp is rajapaksha has sensed that bjp is going to be the next state of power is playing cards oh so yes attain credible relationship with bjp right now in the process that he will cover up his war crimes when the regiment change overs in india subramaniam swami is smiling i don't know why i'd let him respond to you dr swami why do you find why do you find what dr naganathan is saying so well, amusing does he yeah, not I represent the majority see, opinion among a lot right, of tamil right, people we are indians first and tamils afterwards and where there is a clash of uh, indian interests and tamil interests the indian interests shall prevail now those who want to come and make trouble uh, they will be arrested and put in jail and allowed to cool their heels there for some time there but that's about all they can protest for all i care but the fact of matter is that uh, rajapaksha did india a great favor by eliminating the ltt which was a, a national security threat for us and therefore uh, we consider him as a friendly neighbor as a president of a friendly country and uh, he is welcome any time official or non official visit and a few handful of tamils cannot decide these things and i i also think that your own channel should stop using words like pro tamil parties of tamil nadu there is no such thing as a pro tamil party in tamil nadu there is only a, either you are pro indian or anti indian there is no other uh, category Uh, one second one second so speaking I... about indian interest what about what's answer of what what's answer for 600 indian fishermen being killed by the sri lankan army killed by the sri lankan army why does rajapakshe doesn't pay heed to any type of well, indian solution for ethnic problems for tamils why did why did why did sri lanka has always has an opposite stand during well, the indo china is, war the why did india why did sri lanka has an opposite stand during the china war well the in in the answer is in the uh, recent local bodies election in sri lanka where the tamils have voted uh, overwhelmingly for rajapaksha's party rejecting the tna which is supposed to represent tamil interests so i think the answer is given there very clearly so who are no. these people to talk about no. uh, what is the uh, tamil solution? interest what? when the indian government is supposed what to is look after all solution? citizens the uh, there cannot be a sectional view on these matters now what happened to the federal solution offered the rajapakshe government has rejected the any type of federal solution by the unitary constitution passing over by the supreme court Okay. What happened to the Indo-Lakar Accord? Okay, Lama, I'd like to, the 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 I'd like to get in the two other panelists, please. I'd like to get in the two other panelists also, please. This is getting to be an interesting fight between you and uh, Subramaniam Swami. 
and you're presenting very different points of view. I'm enjoying it as well. But let's ask the BJP if they have any consistency in their view before I come to Kushbu and see whether the DMK has any consistency in theirs. Mr. Sishadri Chari, tell me, I'm just curious. <laughs> because it is uh, Shivraj Chauhan, BJP Chief Minister, who's uh, going to be hosting him. Uh, which way did the BJP vote? Your, you know, which, what was the BJP's position during the anti-Sri Lanka UN resolution that censured the nation over its human rights record? I presume you were with the nation when India voted in favor of the anti-Sri Lanka UN resolution. Weren't you, Mr. Chari? No, as far as that, as far as that UN, no, as far as the UN resolution was concerned, as a party, we had a very different view. Our view was that we should not, India should not have voted in favor of the resolution, but at the same time, we should have impressed upon the Colombo to be more realistic towards their solution, towards finding a peaceful and amicable solution to the Tamil issue. And the Colombo is already, Sri Lankan government is already seized of the matter and they are doing a lot of good work. And they have also realized the potential danger of no. alienating the Tamil population in Sri Lanka to such an extent that it gives rise to play, a, a players like the LTT, which has grown much beyond their control. But as far as this voting on this resolution was concerned, we had impressed upon, sir, we tried to you, impress upon sir, the government. Are you of India for or against? To no, take, take, in such please a take a, I see a lack of diplomatically. Mr. Chari. Mr. Chari, uh, get you are, into a kind of a problem. No, no, Mr. Chari, you are usually but, you are usually very clear. Today, I find a slight, slight internal confusion. Is it because a very senior BJP leader herself extended this invit invitation as the as the senior Congress leader and Union Shipping Minister G K Vasan <coughs> seemed to indicate recently? Is that the reason for your confusion? I mean, what is your position? Do you want Rajapakse to come or not <coughs> to come for this event? Do you think it's a it's it's going to hurt any, Tamil sentiment? Anyone, anyone, anyone who reads the Constitution of India would know that external affairs, army, defence, and currency are all the prerogative of the Union government. However much I may like Rajapakse. I cannot go to Sri Lanka and invite him to come to our country and on my invitation he cannot come. He can, it's, it's a private visit. It's an absolute personal visit. And n number of leaders have gone to Sri Lanka. Private visit. Spoken to Rajapakshe. He has also Private come visit, the Dr. Naganathan. of India, APJ Abdul Kalam, yes. went all the way to Colombo and See. Abdul Kalam See, also it, it a very extended clever, an invitation it's a, it's a, it's to Rajapakshe to come to India. Private visit, private visit argument. One second, Kushbu, Kushbu doesn't buy the then private first. visit argument. One yes. second, Kushbu, let's get Kushbu yeah. in. You don't buy the private visit argument. Go ahead, Kushbu. And one second, one, one second. Let's get, let's get and, Kushbu. And in. Kushbu, incidentally, Kushbu. Incidentally, Mr. Karunanidhi has himself said. Really? What has he said? Incidentally, Mr. Karunanidhi has also said that opposing Rajapaksha's visit will not solve the problems. So I see it as a very positive has development he? in Tamil Nadu also. I think Mr. Sheshadri gets to uh, get it very clearly where uh, the chief has said. Uh, we do not welcome the visit of Mr. Rajapakshe. First, let us make it very clear. Tamil Nadu is part of India. Okay, Tamilians are Indians. I agree with Dr. Subramaniam on the point that it's not about pro-Tamilian or anti-Tamilians. It's about pro-Indian. And Tamil Nadu are, is a part of India. So I think we need to work as it's a simple single country. So Tamilians being killed is Indians being killed. So let's get it very clear. Let's not push Tamil Nadu out of the map of India. It's not. It's part of India. So when Indians are being killed, I think we need to stand together. BJP is welcoming the stand because BJP is hosting them. So I think you need to understand BJP are on one side. It gives a very tall claims that they were working for the people of the country. So why are they pushing Tamil Nadu alone? Why are they pushing Tamil Nadu away? Why are they pushing Tamil Nadu Why are you avoiding taking India? a position on Rajapaksa? Why are you avoiding taking a position? Yes, on Rajapaksa. Well, may I remind you Why what the WikiLeaks cables revealed taking, about Rajapaksa's role in the alleged massacres of Tamil civilians and the captured LTT fighters? 
the cable had also said, the WikiLeaks cable had said at the point of time that the responsibility for many of the alleged crimes rests with the country's senior civilian and military leadership, including President Rajapakse, his brothers and General Fonseca. I want you to take a position tonight. Why are you avoiding taking a position just because he's going to Madhya Pradesh? Where do you stand, Kushbu? Is your party sure of where it stands? Of course, my party is very clear as to where, where it stands. We are absolutely clear. We have not said that we are welcoming Mr. Rajapakshe's visit, whether it's private or whether it's political. I think when, when a political leader of Mr. Rajapakshe's stance comes to India, you cannot say it's, it's just a private visit. Then why are we discussing? So why what's are we your position tonight? It's Enunciate your position clearly you tonight. What's the DMK's position? We, we, we are very clear. We, we, DMK is very clear that we do not except Mr. Rajapakshe's stand coming to India. Yes, it's an it's a, it's a issue between the two well, countries. Well, you can't. We need to solve the issues. Like, one sec, let me finish, Arnab. Like, like I thought the, the DMK is part said, of the central the government. The chief had said... The DMK is part of the central government, yes, the and therefore DMK you're in a tangle. Part of the, yes, it is. <laughs> Yes, no, we are not in a tangle. We have Arnab. always been clear in giving a very clear view, whether it is, which is in, in the with, the, with the coalition of the, the uh, UPA the or not. The has been I think we need to get a clear stand. One second, we, one sec. What? Kushpu. No, we need to we need to make it clear, Arnab. Okay, that let Arnab. Yeah, let Arnab, but let me finish first. Let her we, we need to finish. Yeah, let, Arnab. let me complete. Arnab, I want to respond to that. Let her complete. Let me, Dr. Naginathan, I will come when, to you. Let her when, complete. When, yes. when let's 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 make it very clear when when the tourists were attacked in Tamil Nadu the Sri Lankan tourists were attacked we condemned the attack we said this is not the right way oh, when no, no. when the players were sent back the football players were sent back we we condemned it we said let's keep it separate political uh, uh, scenario between the two countries is different let's don't let's not bring in religion let's not bring tourism let's not bring in sports into it but I, I think Mr. Rajapakshe coming to India is is an issue not as a Tamilian but as Indian I think we all need to understand that yes, Tamilians but, uh, are Indians certainly, also. Certainly, we need to understand. We but, have no. But if it is an issue, I think. But if it is an issue, which but if it is an issue, which by your own definition it is, Kushbu, then it is an issue which has taken place because, as Sushma Swaraj mm -hmm. says, the itinerary of Mr. Rajapaksa has been set up by the PMO and the Ministry of External Affairs of the Central Government, of which you are an unbreakable part. So, Dr. Naganathan has a follow-up yes. question for we you now. Not. Dr. Naganathan has a question for you, Kushbu. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. L not, not for Kushbu. I want to answer uh, the BJP spokesperson who has been here. Oh, go on. See, he said that any external affairs should be the purview of the central government. But I would say that they couldn't pass a TISA agreement bypassing Mamta and Manaji regarding Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. See, India, 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 it's very clear. Mm -hmm. During when that's, South Africa right. took its upper threat policy, India cut down all type of political as well as cultural relationship with South Africa till they dropped their upper threat policy. If any tensions arises between Indo and Pakistan, India will suspend all type of cricket matches as well as cultural relationships with Pakistan. So, why do you want to take a different yardsticks towards Tamils? Okay. Okay, clear question today from Chennai tonight. I want uh, Sushadri Chari mm. and Subramaniam the, Swami to respond as uh, far as to him. Yes. As let me let me clarify on this point. As far as Mamta Banerjee's intervention vis-a-vis -vis Tista River Water Settlement issue was concerned, we have we have absolutely we are clear very clear on it. The central government should have done its homework properly by talking to the border state. But at the same time, no state government. So why not for Mamta Tamil Nadu? Why not for Tamil Nadu? Only for Mamta Banerjee. Why either not for Tamil Nadu? Why they are not discussing with Jairam or the next previous they CM? They cannot. They cannot take. They cannot take in external affairs matters into their hands. However much and however greater the no, you must understand. India is a federal be. country. Yes, India is a federal it setup. Clear. It has a, a multilingualistic origination. Should have done the homework. And in this case, the central government should have done the homework with DMK, ADMK. And no, all no, but you can't wash your hands off it either. No, you can't wash your hands of off it either. No, one now, minute. Uh, Arna, can I interrupt? No, I, I find, I find a passing the buck. Private. I need. What? Kushbu wants no, to be Arnab, I, I need. We, Kushbu, Kushbu, we, we, Kushbu. I, I, I not really allow, need a we should not allow competitive politics to come in the way of diplomatic relationships. So and where is it? Not, are it is not competitive politics. It is respecting the sentiments of six crore Indian population in Tamil Nadu. My question to you. This question my is 
on the issue you, of strategic no, no, but you, you are there for no no mr chari mr chari in dealing with this mr chari one second mr chari let me quickly summarize in one line what your what your line of argument is your line of argument is that mr rajapakse is coming to india because the government of india in conjunction with its allies in tamil nadu and others has made a grievous mistake now if they have made a grievous mistake ask them why they made the grievous mistake why they did not coordinate why they have compromised uh, you know by <coughs> the oh, feelings of the it. people of tamil nadu and if we as a result of it are allowed to have rajapakse in madhya pradesh which <coughs> is a bjp ruled state we are benefiting because of their grievous mistake and we are not accountable for their grievous mistake but we will do nothing to block it either that seems to be your line of argument tonight i now let khushboo respond to you dr no, swami i'm coming call. to you. Is, is it not Dr. Swami? Tomorrow, isn't tomorrow, the, is no, it? Is I just it, want to know. I just want Pakshe, to know. Listen, listen, I, no. I think you need to Ra have a clear. If Rajapakshe, if no, Rajapakshe wants clear. to go to Bihar, yes. If Rajapakshe wants to go to Bihar, we will still welcome it. Now, and we, I think, I no, think we not. should, we should know how to de-link the internal matters of Sri Lanka with competitive politics in India. Uh. Competitive politics in India should not or be up, allowed up, to I ruin. The strategic interest of this country. So that way, everything can be considered it's to be political. Ruining. It's not. No, that it's, is. It's, it's all linked. One second. One second. One second. One second. The Kushbu is uh, responding to Kushbu's turn now to rebut Shashadri Chari. Then I'm coming to Subramaniam Swami. Yes, Kushbu, go ahead. You made the mistake. You are accountable. I just want BJP to take it. We are not accountable. If if we were informed, if we were there, then I don't think if the government of Tamil Nadu, the ruling government of Tamil Nadu, or a DMK was taken into consideration about saying that okay, Rajapaksha is going to come to visit India, is going to visit India, is going to visit Madhya Pradesh. So I think we don't think we need to move back and just oppose his arrival, no, no, which is happening on the 21st of September. But I, I, I want one thing very clear from Mr. Chari. Once once he says that it's the government of India which takes a call on it, then he says it's a very private visit, which the uh, uh, BJP government is. To host so we need a very clear information from them whether it's a private visit or it's a political visit because I don't think a president or a, or a prime minister of another country walking into our country and you say that okay that's it's true a, that's true it's just a private visit where you have you have you you have that's you have true. BJP is supporting them you have BJP hosting them you have this uh, it's happening in such which happens to be Madam uh, Sushma Swaraj constituency and you say it's not political it's absolutely non -political. How is it non political we have issue with Sri Lanka, how is it non political are, it cannot be a non political it so cannot Kushbu be a non political asked tonight kushbu how asked tonight how is it non political so dr swami respond to her how is it non political and why is why is the bjp also passing the buck listen, well, listen, why why are all sides passing the, the prime minister of pakistan the prime minister of pakistan listen the prime minister of pakistan comes and visits ajmer sharif it's a private visit and during the private visit, if he wants to talk with the government of India, the government of India not, would not. probably tell him, would have told him that, look, you have come for a personal visit, you have come for a religious visit. Wonderful. We will host you. We will no, no, no. roll the red carpet for you. Please come. This is, pay there, is a, there is a significance. Offer namaz. No, I think, I think, I think, no, once doc, no, no, Dr. Naganathan is not satisfied with the reply. He's not satisfied with the reply. This is a private visit. Neither am I. Neither am I. Yeah, but before this, I want to say before that before that may i may i make yes sir swami waiting for well, you sir can you hear me yeah yeah go on sir we are waiting for you sir yes sir you may do. yeah all right yeah, you can now, hear, first yeah, yeah. of all let me say let me smile, say that smile. patriotic indians are proud that uh, to invite uh, rajapaksha to visit india because he eliminated the LTT, which was a national security threat to India. I defer. I defer. I defer. I defer. Each Gandhi time. Each and time. And got his just uh, justice uh, each uh, time, in the hands of Mr. Prabhakar. Uh, Mr. Each time. Uh, Arunab. Arunab. So he should be in Arunab, fact decorated by the Indian Arunab, government. Arunab. Let him complete. Instead of being treated like this by uh, little uh, 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 pieces of uh, political opposition owing allegiance to the LTT. Secondly, the Tamils of Sri Lanka no, 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 no. adopted Mr. Fonseca, who was the commander-in-chief of the time when the war was going on. And the allegation is against the uh, uh, Sri Lankan army. Now, you can't say that Mr. Fonseca had no role to play in the atrocities against the Tamils. And at the same time, say the president had. This is an absurd logic. And finally, let me say 
that the Tamils have overwhelmingly voted for Rajapaksha's party in the local body's election, completely exposing these financial orphans of the LTTE. Who and is that's the financial they are. orphan of and the LTT on the program to tonight? He should be arrested under the National Security <laughs> Act and kept there in the jail. I'll, I'll, I'll respond. Who is the financial yeah. orphan of the LTT? I'll, I'll, I'll respond to that. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll respond to that, Arnab. Yes. See, each and every time uh, when this debate comes in regarding Sri Lanka, it's mandatory for Subramanian Swami always speaks about LTT, Prabhakar and assassination of Rajiv Gandhi. Post 2009, three years has been over, LTT has been dismantled, LTT has been destroyed. You can't mask in the name of LTT the legitimate rights of Tamils. That's one point. You, he said that patriotic Indians welcome Rajapakshe. Who are the patriotic Indians? Who are you to talk about? I say, if you say that we are the orphanages of LTT, yeah, who are you to talk about patriotic Indians? If you are minuscule, I can have the same remark passage, but you that you are acting as an agent of Rajapakshe. Rather than talking about Indian interest. Simple. Second, <laughs> second point I want to highlight is se second point I want to I, second I want to highlight is here in this issue, whether it's political visit or non-political visit, the both the national parties have completely bypassed Tamil sentiments down south. If you remember in August 2011, okay, now, now. when the Lok Sabha and Rajasabha spoke sentiment. about the UN, you, UN resolution, Arno Goswami, please Aluwal, tell me. Aluwalia, BJP. Arno Goswami, I want, I take serious objection to this Tamil that. business. <laughs> As Sheshadri Chari, a Tamilian born in, belonging to Tamil Nadu in Tanjavur, I have visited Sri Lanka, I have visited the eastern part, the northern part. I have spoken to Tamil people in that area you in their language. I speak that language. And those people who voted for Tamil National Alliance two years back have majority. all come back and they want a peaceful existence there. And they are terribly afraid of the LTTE and now, now they are happy that should, LTTE is gone. Should, should, they want to live a peaceful life. Yes, they don't sir, want this no. Tamil Nadu. Okay, okay. Kushbu is also coming into the debate. I am extending this debate by two this minutes. Kushbu comes into the debate. Yes, Kushbu. we definitely need a peaceful. Let us remember this. First, let's, Kushbu, let's Kushbu. Cut it off. Every time there is an issue, first, 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 let's cut it off. Let's cut it off that every time there is a discussion about Sri Lanka, we bring in about our ties with Pakistan, we bring in about our ties with the other neighboring countries. Let's concentrate on Sri Lanka. Yeah. Let's concentrated as to what is happening with the Tamilians in Sri Lanka. Let's talk about the Tamilians who have been uh, degraded absolutely and not living a life with self-respect and dignity. Let's talk about that. Let's not bring in about, okay. about Pakistan Prime Minister coming to India on a private visit. I think we need to solve this issue. We need to if say that Tamilians are facing a problem with Sri Lanka in, in Sri Lanka and we need to find a solution for their safety, for their dignity, for their self-respect. To which I, I ask I where do you every stand? Time there's an issue about Tamilians. To which I ask where do you stand? We, we definitely Stand let with us, the people. Let us also. We have been fighting also, for the rights Arnav, of the Tamilians. Where do you stand? Kushbu? We all have been standing Arnav, for the rights of the Tamilians. Let us also DMK, not forget one DMK thing. DMK stands for the rights of the people. Where do you stand on Rajapaksa's Rajapaksa inauguration of a center in Madhya Pradesh? Where do you stand? We, Arnav. we. I think, I think, I think, uh, Arna, from 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 the right from the start of this debate, it went on your channel also that AIDMK as well as DMK oppose the uh, arrival of Rajapaksha on 21st of September. So that matters. Is, that matter is. And what will you clear. do? We oppose he coming to India. What if what no, if what the, gov what do, if the government says what sorry? We will do because, because what if the, the government responds to you much in the no, same way no, that they that, respond that, to Mamta Banerjee on retail? On what if the government responds to you much in the same no, way as they uh, respond Arnav, to Mamta Banerjee on retail? We've heard you, but sorry, we are going to do exactly what we want. What will you do then? <laughs> Arnav, that Arnav. the chief has to take a call. I am not the chief Arnav, of the a, party. That is that no, 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 that's the most valid question. As to what he is going to do about that, I think that part we will leave to it. That part we leave. Kushbu says that part we leave. We need every. Kushbu says that part we leave for later. Chief to decide. No, but take a position. I have to leave it for later. Take a position. Also, take a position. You are the not be. Take a position. It's clear. Rajapaksha is not welcomed by Tamilians in India. But your government. Rajapaksha and Tamilians also represent India. But your government, at least, at least Subramaniam Swami is taking a position which is consistent on all sides. But your your party, your you are part of the central government. Where do you stand? Yes, 
Yes, we stand. We stand for the people of Tamil Nadu. What what DMK chief is going to talk with the UPA chief? I think that he has to talk to the central. I'm not here to discuss as to what discussion is going to happen tomorrow or midnight or sometime later during the day tomorrow. But no, but you can't have a backroom deal. I think that the, the you can't have a backroom no, deal on something like this. No, we're not having a backroom deal. Everything has been. It's definitely not a backroom deal. Everything has been clear. Chief has been absolutely. <laughs> Dr. Kalinian has been open about his statements as to what statements he has to give. Whether it's the coalition of the government, whether he is in for the government, whether he is not in. For the no, then, then, then why, does, why doesn't he come out and say that, you know... We have been very clear.